good, good morning, Washington. It's the uh, it's Sunday, the um, Sunday, the thirteenth of March, daylight savings time. Uh, actually, I really think we should be on daylight savings time all the time. That seems like all the time. That seems like the real time. You know, we go back to daylight savings time. It's like okay, we're back on regular normal time. You know, I don't. Anyhow, uh, some people may have wondered why I haven't uh, been doing Dave TVs for the last couple of days. It's because I've been ill. Oh, I've just had a bug. Uh, muscle aches, backache, fever, sore throat, uh, lethargic, stomach, which, which eventually turned into stomach troubles, run into the bathroom every half hour. But I've still managed to keep the site running, as I always do. But, uh, you know, I just haven't felt like uh, doing these little uh, TV things the last couple days. Today, I'm feeling better. So, hopefully I'm over this effing thing, whatever it is. And uh, we'll keep it light today. Just a few uh, nostalgic-y thingies. Uh, was uh, digging through the uh, stash of uh, cool shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, can I say that on you? Can I say that? <laughs> uh I'm oh, sorry, FCC, I hope they don't... Uh... Anyhow, it's digging through the stash of cool stuff and found some old some old video from the 19... It looks, it looks like circa 1990-ish or so. Look at this, the old Phil Donaghy show. We're just going to zip out of that. And this is from Channel 9, the old WDVN. so much more. When you make Evans your Christmas store. Like fine jewelry. Evans? Are they still? I don't think they're even still around. Are they one of those old catalog retailers? Like that. Deep cleaning action agitates carpeting on a cushion of air. And there's full-time edge cleaning, Hoover's fingertip power switch, and nine-port disposable dust bag. The Hoover convertible upright vacuum. Great. When you make Evans your Christmas store. And then, of course, Just about everybody in Washington knows the Riggs Bank. But what they may not know is that people in 85 countries worldwide know Riggs Bank because Riggs does business with them. International business. Washington's a terribly long way from here, but Riggs is here at work. And... Who used to own it? I don't know if they still own it or not. I'll try no, hold on. This is funny. So Watch this. When the Electronics asked me to compare their television games with Atari, I gave it a try. I compared Atari baseball with Intellivision and found Intellivision played much more like real baseball. That looks like real and baseball, I doesn't it? Atari football with Intellivision. Oh, Again, that's Intellivision real football. Like the real game. <laughs> In my opinion, if you try them both, there's only one conclusion you can come to in television. From Mattel Electronics. At Hex. Which, of course, I How think... How credit works. Saturday night at 7.30. Yeah. Okay, so anyhow, that, that's some things... I'm just... Uh, let's hear that. Let's hit that button. And uh, just wanted to say, Riggs Bank, of course, the All-Britain family, as uh, they used to... I don't know if they still own the bank, but uh, they... they Gotten a lot of trouble with the government, da da da. And All Britain, of course, owns Channel Seven, News Channel Eight, TBD, whatever, whatever it's being called now in the Politico. So uh, interesting stuff there. Okay, so now I'm hitting some buttons here on this uh, DVD player, and I'm going to go to some more clips I want to show you that uh, if it will uh, load up here. Nice blue screen of death there. That's always a refreshing sign. <laughs> Three, two, one. Blustery, but the winds will die off later on tonight. Then tomorrow, we will be watching a storm that's coming our way from the Gulf. Behind it, heavy snows around Lubbock, and also plenty of cold air. Looks like a gray Thanksgiving. Tell you about it at 11. There's Bob Ryan back it's when he was young and back when he was at Channel 4. The begins tomorrow. is going to rock you like you've never been rocked before. DC 101 with the most rock and roll and more live concerts. If you want rock, stay tuned to DC 101 because nobody rocks Washington like DC 101. Now that's cool, isn't it? And we go to the old NBC network. But anyhow, 
Uh, that's back when DC 101 is a locally owned station, wasn't owned by the mammoth giant Clooch. So that's kind of cool crap. Uh, got a couple t-shirts for you today. Classic Rock 94.7 W-A-R-W. Nice plain old t-shirt there. And then, of course, they morphed into the Globe. Now, this was a cool radio station. I really liked it. Uh, Michael Hughes, uh, pretty much, he was the uh, old CBS exec over there at uh, CBS. Uh, started the station back in uh, 2007. Kind of a... Uh, in the vein of the old HFS a little bit, you know, playing a lot of alt rock and, you know, surf and all that. You know, surf was at the old Arrow too, but he, he stayed at the uh, the Globe. It was a neat little station. Uh, and, it, you know, never really got a lot of traction. Although the funny thing is the ratings of it were considerably higher than the ratings for um, 105.9 The Edge, the current classic rocker that rose up out of the, the ashes of true oldies 105.9 two years ago. Anyhow... But um, anyhow, I, I always thought the Globe, they, they, they had too many consultants. The station drifted too far. Um, you know, they, they, they should have gotten the HFS call letters slapped on it. You know, the TGB call letters just didn't quite work. They should have reached for that old HFS identity there, like the new HFS, and kind of gone with that. And uh, it didn't quite gel. The station started to slump. And CBS didn't quite know what to do, or maybe they did. Maybe Michael Hughes did, but management of the company just kept letting it go and c consulted the station to death. And eventually, it, they tried to go back to uh, a harder rock sound, harder classic rock sound. Currently, what the Edge is doing, <laughs> the ratings went down the tubes, and then it became fresh, ninety four seven, a hot kind of chick rockish uh, back in oh uh, nine. So that's that. Um, Wanted to uh, highlight one of our sponsors today. Just re-signed good old Kyle Osborne there from uh, formerly with Channel uh, News Channel Eight and uh, and uh, Channel Seven. Uh, not a happy parting, I I, I kind of hear. But uh, anyhow, he's got a really cool website, Entertainment or Die. Click on the link at uh, dcrtv.com there he's got a nice ad up and we're going to be doing some promo stuff with him hoping to get some traffic to his site uh, great site you can check out the latest movie reviews and a lot of cool stuff there he was the entertainment reporter for many years over there at uh, nc8 uh whatever that's going to be these days all righty folks um no big news this week, the last couple days. Uh, you know, when I'm sick, the news pretty much stops. <laughs> uh, we hear that uh, SOMARS WMDM in Lexington Park has uh, gone back to the rocket and are back to classic rock. They were EZ 97.7 there for a while. Rob Carson's going to be doing a couple weeks mornings over there at, uh, at uh, 107.3, Mix 107.3. Uh, Jack Diamond is... Uh, Gone for a couple weeks. Who knows? I guess he's on vacation. Gonna hang, go to go down to uh, Curacao or something. I don't know. <laughs> power outage hit WTOP uh, on Friday. They were out of power all night and way into the morning, thanks to Pepco. But uh, they have a nice backup power supply there, and they kept everything going. And listeners probably didn't even notice. That's what we're told. Gerver Dins's last day at Channel 5 was Friday. She's heading down to Atlanta to do the morning news for the uh, Fox station down there. And uh, so goodbye to Gerver. Uh, Tom Sater, she married Tom Sater a couple years ago. He was used to be the weatherman there, the morning weatherman at Channel 5. And I presume he's heading down there with her. He used to be. So, uh We'll be losing two uh, DC TV vets uh, with that move. All righty, folks, that's it for today. Um, hoping to uh, feel a little better and uh, take it easy today on this looks like beautiful weather Sunday here in the Washington area. And uh, don't forget to stay tuned.